morning everybody i hope you all had a great weekend welcome back to another week with us here in the manuleti nature reserve the sun's just risen it's a beautiful clear morning not so cold this morning so it looks like it's going to be another great day it's just me out by myself this morning alistair has a few other things he just needs to do for the lodge so my plan is to stay up north trying to look for some lions we haven't seen the imbiri pride for quite a long time and hopefully look for the copies and their cubs i have heard some lions roaring just to the north of us here so let's go and see if we can find them just stopped to listen there's some jackals alarm calling You can hear them, black back jackals, usually a good sign that a predator is nearby. Just driving off road here to where I can hear those jackals calling. Ah, I can see one male lion. There's one male lion lying just into the sun there. managed to find one of the open males thanks to the help of these jackals behind me I can still hear some impala and a lot of wildebeest alarm calling so might be some of the other lions here in the area Jackal's literally standing two feet behind that line. That line hasn't even moved. Very brave jackal. It's a beautiful sound, that jackal call. I'm sure a lot of our South African viewers are familiar with it. Guys, I'm rushing back to the lodge. Alistair said it sounds like he's got lion and buffalo interaction just behind his house, um, right at the lodge. So, fingers crossed. Very exciting. So, I've just got to this area. The Mbiris are busy surrounding this male buffalo. A lot of the lions are behind in that thicket there. You can see a young male on the right. Looks like they've been at it for a while. You can see this buffalo has got a very bad wound to his back. Also injury to his lower left leg. Probably around the Achilles area or even higher.
been a stalemate for quite a while. Looks like some of these lions have eaten um, recently. They got all got full belly, so they're not desperately hungry, but definitely trying for this buffalo, especially that scent of blood coming out of him. And you got a walking wounded buffalo, so I'm sure they're still going to try. These lines have just stopped for a drink. They've been at it after this buffalo now for about an hour. It's getting quite warm. That buffalo must be getting tired and quite weak. I think that's what these lions are waiting for. These lions have managed to push the buffalo out of the thicket and into a more open space.
this buffalo must be getting tired. He's also losing quite a lot of blood. So I'm sure he's getting weak. Looking for some shade, some water. These lions won't relent. These lions are starting to surround me. I'm sure it's not going to be too long before they make another attempt. They got him down, they got him down. I brought this big buffalo down, all of the imbiris are on top of him. It's going to be one heck of a struggle here. Line is just going to wait till there's no more breath coming from this buffalo, then she's going to let go. Yeah. Quite amazing a lot of the lions have lost interest and have moved off if they were very hungry all lions would have been in here feeding fighting but because they're not so hungry a lot of them have just moved off they know they got this buffalo for another few days they'll just come back when they're ready
I don't think I've ever seen this before where you've got a dead carcass and the ox peckers are still coming down trying to get some ticks. So you've got two species feeding off this carcass. You've still got some ox peckers on it. You've got the lions feeding away. Everyone, we've come to the end of drive. Uh, some of the imbiris are still feeding on this buffalo carcass. You can just see the carcass in the corner of the screen. Mixture of emotions this morning, obviously the thrill of seeing the berries catch this buffalo. It's my first buffalo or you know live buffalo kill uh, from start to finish that I've seen in about two years. And obviously not great for that buffalo. It wasn't the nicest way to die. Um, just like we said earlier, I think it's just due to the fact that these lions had eaten already. They weren't overly hungry, so it just took a little bit longer. But uh, this morning we started off and said we wanted to find some lions. And while well, we got some lions and then plus a whole lot more. I'm sure we're going to pop in here every drive and as this carcass uh, diminishes you'll see a lot more action from the lions and then hopefully from hyenas and other predators as well.